For more on what to expect from auto sales and EVs in the second half, let's bring in Group One Automotive CEO Daryl Kenningham. He oversees more than 200 dealerships across the U.S. and the United Kingdom. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Daryl. I, I guess to pick up there on, on what Phil was talking about, what are you seeing with the balance between the demand for electric vehicles and your ability to supply them to the consumers that are coming in looking for them at your dealerships? Well, on the EV side, uh, good morning, first off. Thank you for having me. Uh, on the EV side, you know, we're seeing uh, supply constraints with some OEMs as they are, you know, the F-150 Lightning is a great example. We're still uh, sold out for a, a long time into the future and, and don't have enough uh, production yet on that vehicle. And in other cases, uh, you know, uh, Phil mentioned uh, Hyundai. We're selling uh, lots of uh, Ionics in, uh, in our Hyundai dealerships and and uh, customers seem to be reacting to them very favorably. When it comes to the market for used cars, what are you seeing there? I mean, the, the pandemic demand for used cars was just out of control as someone that was in the market for one of them. Have we sort of evened out to more uh, historical levels? Well, uh, you certainly versus last year and versus uh, right after the pandemic, uh, you're seeing uh, used cars, uh, the dynamic change in that market. You're seeing a little more pressure on uh, pricing in that market than we had uh, a year ago, uh, where on the new car side, there is uh, still a lot of price resiliency there. It's uh, a little less than it was, but on the used car side, you're seeing uh, prices come down some. Uh, you're also seeing customers uh, shop more on financing options and alternatives as well. Uh, so we're seeing that. And the supply of used cars is still extremely low, uh, and that's due mainly to the uh, reduction of, of uh, new car volume during, uh, during and after the pandemic. Uh, we just don't have the supply yet of, of, uh, of used cars. So there's still some work to do on the used car side of the market. Daryl, uh, Journal did a piece this week about the uh, scarcity of uh, service technicians. I mean, the numbers were staggering. The, uh, even if you get graduation rates uh, out of academies at, at good numbers, it would take years to replenish what we need. Do you see an easy way out of that? Uh, there's no easy way out of it, Carl. Uh, not at all. It's one of the uh, largest opportunities in our business. It's something, uh, at least at Group One, we put an enormous amount of effort and focus on. Uh, we've been fairly successful uh, hiring technicians. Uh, we're up about 15 percent year over year in our technician headcount, which uh, we, we feel lucky to be there. But it takes a lot of creativity. We have four-day work weeks. Uh, we have alternative work schedules. We have training programs, mentoring programs. We, your pay has to be extremely competitive. And you have to be really creative with your productivity and your shops. Uh, you know, there's, there's, uh, the, the, the industry is, is going to be short of technicians for years into the future. And uh, especially, I think, as, as uh, vehicles get more complicated, uh, they get harder to fix, and that takes more technicians with higher skill levels to do that. So a uh, big industry issue, and I think the winners are the ones who can figure out that technician capacity and the throughput uh, uh, the, uh, in their shops driven by, uh, to a great degree, more productivity. When it comes to offering consumers the opportunity to purchase a vehicle online, I, I understand you have an Acceleride, Acceleride omni-channel shopping tool. How is that being used and how do you make sure that that experience is a smooth one for consumers? Well, we tried to design Acceleride so that it's as easy as possible for consumers and we don't force them into any uh, options that they don't want and it's not a lockstep process. So every customer shops for a car differently. Uh, some of them start at what their financing options are. Some of them start by looking at inventory. Some of them start by wanting to understand what their maybe their used car trade-in is worth. And with Acceleride, they're able to do that. Uh, one of the ways we measure success with Acceleride is how deeply in customers are engaging. And 80% of our customers engage with Acceleride somewhere. And almost half of our customers engage in Acceleride through half of their purchase, through five different steps. So uh, we see more engagement every single day with Acceleride, with digital retailing. Customers continue to vote yes on digital retailing. And I think successful retailers uh, are going are, are gonna to win when they, when they can offer customers those kind of options and those kind of choices, because customers clearly are, cho are, are choosing that.